The electronics industry is one of the fastest growing global industries. Public institutions in the EU buy 94 billion euros worth of electronics every year for use at hospitals, schools and public offices. The global electronics industry faces serious challenges when it comes to providing a safe and healthy work environment for its laborers. Electronics Watch is an independent monitoring organization working to achieve respect for labor rights in the global electronics industry. There are serious human rights violations that are going on in the industry, and many of them in public sector supply chains. The public sector could be an immensely positive influence on this problem. Uh, one statistic said that one in five computers across Europe are bought by the public sector. I don't think the public sector, generally speaking, is taking this issue serious enough. If it did, it would not make its purchase decisions with scant regard to conditions for workers in, in these affected countries. The electronic industry is global. It engages people from all over the world, from the mineral mines in Ghana and Congo to the electronics manufacturing in South Korea, Vietnam and China. Many of the semiconductors for the large computer brands are produced in South Korea. A factory worker here faces 500 to 1,000 different chemicals daily. My name is Kim Mi Yeon. My age is 35 years old. Uh, The factories in manufacturing countries like China and Vietnam are running day and night. At the assembly lines, workers are standing 12 hours, 6 or even 7 days a week. Nhất uh, Việt Nam có là một thị trường lao động dồi dào, có nhân công rẻ và các cái nhà đầu tư như Samsung, Nokia lên tìm kiếm những cái thị trường như vậy. Uh, những cái vấn đề của người thách thức và vấn đề của người lao động của Việt Nam gặp phải đấy là hiện nay luật an toàn lao động của Việt Nam thì chưa phải chưa cập nhật và chưa đủ đảm bảo cái uh, an toàn bảo vệ cho cái người cho người lao động. Chỉ không làm thêm, không làm thêm giờ thì là chỉ khoảng tầm 4 triệu ạ. Và nó cũng chỉ đủ để chi trả cho việc ăn ở và đi lại với mình thường ạ. Because we're spending taxpayers' money on goods and services that will feed um, public services, it's absolutely essential that those public services can be delivered without causing harm to others. The challenge is on us to make sure that we keep up the pressure and ensure that workers' conditions right across the world are always in the watchful gaze of buyers like us. To date, public sector organisations who want to um, improve conditions within their supply chains haven't had an effective mechanism by which to do so. Electronics Watch is providing that mechanism. It enables the public sector to speak with one voice to the market uh, by using common tools and common contracts and it monitors factories to, so the public sector can find out what's actually going on so that then they can put pressure on, on their suppliers to improve conditions.